It is Saturday.、Uh, it's almost ten already. I've been up for I think around two-ish hours. I did manage to sleep a bit longer today, which is good, but I still feel like shit, which isn't so good. Uh, but yeah, I've been pretty much just、um, catching up with some YouTube videos. I watched Joyce vlog. I watched、um, Friends vlog, and I've been just doodling around in my sketchbook a bit. Oh, also, I'm gonna start using. My mic now, because because up until now I've been only using the mic of this camera, which is、uh, not very good, or my phone, which is also not very good.、Um, the only problem is that I'm gonna have to、um, take the audio clips I'm recording. On Audacity right now, so I'm gonna have to swap the audio、um, tracks for every、um, video clip that I'm filming. So we'll see how and if that works out. I mean, I I did this,、um, I did this, and some of my videos, I think, but. Depending on how many of these clips、uh, I'm gonna film, it's probably gonna be a bit more work. But at least it's not gonna sound so horrible. So yeah, I uploaded my、um, Valentine's Day video yesterday. Which was a bit shortish, but oh, thanks so much for all of your replies、um, regarding the the art box.、Um, whether you like the idea of doing more of these videos, and、um, nobody seemed to have any problem with that.、Um, for the most part, everybody seems to be fine with that. So、um, I'm gonna still. Wait and see over the weekend、um, what people think about it. But if that's like the general opinion, then I think I'm gonna shoot upgrade a message on Monday. And yeah, I had a, I had a weird morning. Kind of feel a bit drained. It's probably a bit of this cold, but I'm also. Worrying too much, and it just gets worse when I really want to do everything、um, that I have planned, but my body just doesn't want to play along. So、uh, it's a bit frustrating. But later I'm gonna take a nap and. Maybe that's gonna make me feel a bit better because I have、uh, quite a bit of sketches that I would like to get to. Thinking about maybe doing a video in German and uploading it on a different channel because I do have a another channel. I uploaded the one video. Of, I don't know, and I haven't been really doing anything with it. But I have gotten a lot quicker with editing, and because I don't have to concentrate so much on.、Um, 
And what I'm saying, because it's more difficult for me in English, um, yeah, maybe I can just do a quick video in German just for shit and giggles. Just to see if um, that's something that I might squeeze in every now and then, you know? So hopefully I can get this vlog out Monday or the day after uh, because my last two videos uh, didn't do that well. Um, I don't really like to go to this um, YouTube studio and all of these analytics and graphs and you can see basically everything like when people are clicking off where they're coming from and stuff like that but I don't really like to um, hang out <laughs> in these uh, analytics first of all I don't really understand what everything is um, all I know is that when I upload a video um, you get to see on the first like the first thing you're seeing when you're um, in the YouTube studio is how it's performing compared to um, your latest videos. So when all of the numbers are green and the dollar sign is green, then everything is good. And yeah, the last two videos were a sad grey. <laughs> But I think it's uh, it's the length because all of my previous videos had um, all a minimum of a um, half an hour video length. So if I now upload videos that are around 10 minutes, um, I, th I think they don't do so well because, um, you know, of course people are gonna watch the longer videos for a long amount of time. I think that's what it is. I don't know, maybe my thumbnails are shit. I don't feel like I have been um, doing the most interesting videos in the last week. And I try not to be so focused on, you know, the numbers and the algorithm and stuff like that, but if, if I want my channel to grow and if I want to eventually make some money off of YouTube, then um, I do kind of have to think about these things. Even though it's annoying. So please excuse my trashy nails. All of my nail stuff is in the bedroom and my husband is sleep, uh, still sleeping. Because he was out yesterday night. A, uh, a uh, acquaintance, acquaintance? acquaintance of his had a, uh, was playing a show in the next town over and he was invited so he went out to say hi and I was long asleep I think uh, when he came back so he's probably gonna sleep for I don't know oh no it's 10 I probably should uh, 
wake him up gently. <laughs> Otherwise he's just gonna sleep through the day and then he's gonna be annoyed trying to make my mind up um, what I'm gonna do today. Because I don't really know where to start. Wait, maybe I can show you a couple of the sketches that I have laying around that I would like to do. Okay, so you might remember her. I already started um, this sketch and then I messed it up. So this is kind of the reworked sketch. So I wanna give this one a go and this one I also already started. I started it on super thin paper because I couldn't wait for my um, heavyweight paper to arrive and I thought, you know, a tiny bit of water is not gonna hurt it and yeah. But it's, uh, I don't think that it's that bad to start over because I really don't like the print of this um, kimono hoodie so I want to redo this and this one I really like um, I think somebody mentioned in, in the comment sections of one of my Inktober videos I think it was on YouTube it might have been on Instagram I don't know I can't remember but um, yeah somebody mentioned that um, uh, I might want to do like um, my version of fairy tales and it kind of stuck in my head this idea so this is gonna be um, Red Riding Hood that's what it's called in English I mean not really it's just gonna be a, a red cape and um, yeah I like her pose I think it's really cute um, I haven't been drawing a whole lot of full body stuff lately, so this was really fun. Uh, and yeah, so these three things are the stuff that I want to... Um, I'm probably not gonna finish all of them, because on Sunday we are gonna um, visit some friends. Um, so depending on how long we're gonna be there, I'm not gonna have so much time on Sunday. I want to start my uh, Bad Apple Artists artwork, my first one. I already have an idea, I already know what I want to do, just haven't sketched it out yet. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, you know what, I think I'm gonna go give my husband a little push. See if he wants to get up already and uh, I definitely need another coffee <laughs> and I'm gonna check back in with you later when I decide um, with which one I'm gonna start this day so yeah see you in a bit hey guys I am back and I am feeling so much better <laughs> I um, it is almost five in the afternoon now I um, did a bit of chores around uh, our flat, did the laundry, stuff like that and um, I took a nap with my husband because we were both feeling like trash and this is the first time in I don't even remember how long that I was actually able to fall asleep during the day and I think my problem at the moment is that I um, I could use an hour um, of sleep more but I just can't sleep any longer than my seven hours. I woke up on Friday at five in the morning and I just couldn't fall asleep again so I got up at five. Usually these seven hours they are pretty good and I don't need more kind of just wake up but could use which I don't understand like how can it be that I'm 
that I'm sleeping for seven hours, waking up feeling like trash all day, and then I sleep for, I don't even know how long I've been sleeping, somewhere between half an hour and an hour, and I feel so much better. Doesn't really make sense to me, but. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to listen to my um, trash TV <laughs> on YouTube. I'm gonna uh, check back in with you once I've done the sketch. And uh, I, I, I hope, as I said, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep drawing. Maybe I'm gonna check back in with you tomorrow, so let's see. Hey guys, um, so it is Sunday now, it is uh, 10 in the morning, is it noon already, is it, fuck is the word for it, pre-noon, <laughs> uh, boy yeah, I've been up for a while and I'm feeling so much better, hanging out with my husband and resting a bit and also sleeping a bit longer today, which finally worked out, uh, definitely helped me, so now I just want to um, color this quickly uh, so this sketch is done I really like how it turned out and I um, also wanted to try this paper I got this because the sketchbook that I'm using currently the bigger one um, by Graphmaster the paper is super thin and um, using pencils colored pencils anything like that and Jesus Christ I need to buy new ones because these um, erasers just keep getting stuck underneath my nails which is super annoying um, so yeah I wanted to try this paper I got this off of Amazon and I've never tried this but this was really inexpensive so I wanted to use this um, when I want to sketch something with watercolor and I can do it in my sketchbook so I'm just gonna slap these in into my sketchbook um, I think this was like around 13 or 14 euro for 30 sheets uh, let's see what this paper can do it has a bit of a texture and you know what this reminds me of this paper really reminds me of these um, Uh, Arteza sketchbook, the small ones, the one with the uh, ring binding, you know, they have this weird texture. If, if you've ever used one of those, you definitely know what I mean. It is just, I don't know, it's, the camera probably won't, oh no, it does pick it up a bit. Yeah, it is this, odd texture, but, I mean, for sketching and stuff, it's probably be um, fine. So, uh, yeah, let's slap some color onto it. And also, sorry if you can hear some bells ring in the background. We are surrounded by churches here. Um, 
So yeah, just want to give this um, some color before I move on to my sketches and uh, gonna visit our friends in the afternoon so I still have quite a bit of time to finish this and start something else and um, I don't know if I'm gonna work in the evening or if we're just gonna jump onto the couch again and um, we'll see about that So we just got back. I am stuffed. We ate. Oh, well, I say we, but no, it was just me. I ate way too much <laughs> and drank too much coffee. And it is um, almost seven in the evening now. So um, I pretty much finished this. Um, I want to still do a couple of details and then I think I'm gonna scan this and yeah I still haven't managed to get to my sketches um, but it's okay uh, I intended this weekend to be a bit more chill and not to stress myself you know just try to um, relax a bit more so I have more energy for the coming week um, so yeah I'm gonna finish this up Sorry that I didn't show all of the process, but um, the battery died on me and I had to uh, try and hurry up before we left because I didn't know how long we would end up staying. So yeah, I'm just gonna flip you around. Mm, I probably should put up my lamp, otherwise it's gonna be 
really yellowy. Yeah, that's pretty much all watercolor. And I think I'm gonna go in with a bit of, with a bit of colored pencil here and there. I already started, like here on the leaves. I'm gonna do little things. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm just, I'm too full. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in and do a couple of more details and then this is pretty much done. And depending on whether my husband is going to Twitch tonight, he got one of these, um, I don't know what they're called, these streaming decks, you know, where you can put different actions on the buttons. He got one of those things because been, he's been really into twitching. I'm so sorry that I haven't been um, twitching a lot. It still makes me very nervous and I didn't have um, much time the last couple of weeks. But I do intend to get back into it, otherwise I'm never gonna um, loosen up. But yeah, um, he's really into twitching. And um, maybe he's gonna stream tonight, so... Depending on whether he wants to or not, I'm gonna either keep working or we're gonna hang out. Okay guys, so I'm done now and um, I went in with a little bit of gouache on the moths and on parts of the face to correct some things. And I completely forgot that I put my gouache, you know, the primaries from uh, by Schminke in the Stay Wet palette. I can't even remember when I put them in there, but it must be over a month and they are still wet, which is pretty cool. I completely forgot about them because I haven't been using gouache in the last couple of weeks, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put the links to everything I've used down in the description. I know I've been really bad with trying to remember <laughs> to do that, um, but this one I got from a German online shop. I don't know if they um, ship worldwide, something I need to check out. But yeah, I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description or just the name of the brand, but I don't know if this is some um, house brand of theirs. And um, the paper worked out pretty fine. I mean, um, when I went in with the colored pencils, um, they don't really... The, it's not really flat, like I really need to push hard on them to make, um, I'm so sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm already a bit tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have to go in really hard with the colored pencils to push the texture down to fill in the gaps. But in some parts, like here with her face, I don't know if the camera picks this up, I think the look is actually kind of cute. I mean, this paper is pretty inexpensive, so for stuff where you just want to play around, I think it works out fine, you know, for more like sketchbook stuff on loose sheets of paper, it's pretty cool. I don't know if the colors really come across as they are, probably not, so if you're interested in seeing this, how it really looks, um, I posted it already to Instagram, so you can check that out. I already posted the um, scans to my Patreon, so that is done, and my husband is probably gonna Twitch for another hour, maybe two hours. So um, before we drop that to the couch, I'm still having a bit of time left. I will continue with this one. I started the line art already somewhere, and uh, I think I still have a bit of um, energy left to just move a mechanical pencil around. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one now and I, I mean, I've been meaning to get to all of these but I always underestimate how slow I am <laughs> so I think um, it's a lot more um, probable 
that I'm gonna finish this one tomorrow and these two I'm gonna do over the next couple of days so I can start on the um, bad apple artist drawing um, or painting uh, somewhere around next week and because I would really like to have it done around a week before the auction actually starts you know just in case I something comes up I mean there's always something that comes up and I really want this my first one to turn out good so I want to start early um, and yeah so I'm gonna put these in my sketchbook and put something heavy onto it because as, as you can see um, no, you probably can see, but yeah, it does bend a little in the middle. It's at least it's even, so it's not that bad. But I'm gonna try to make it as flat as I can before I stick it into my sketchbook. Although this might be actually a bit too big to put it in my sketchbook, so um, I'm probably gonna have to buy some kind of folder to um, collect the drawings that are too big for my sketchbook so they don't um, fly around and bend and get dirty. Um, I think I'm gonna shut off the mic now and continue without talking. Uh, you're probably gonna hear from me tomorrow. Okay guys, it is Monday and it's already early afternoon um, I've been chipping away at this throughout the morning and now the lines are done so I think what I want to do with this one is to do basically what I did with um, uh, This drawing I made of the girl that had these um, tree branches as horns. And in that one I did a complete wash of um, a, a slightly yellow tint um, just to kind of um, give everything this yellow undertone. But I will use masking fluid to um, leave some parts. Jesus, I always have a problem with this. Taking this thing off because it's supposed to be difficult for children. <laughs> ah, okay, I got it. So I think what I want to do, wait, I need to change the angle. I'm going to mask the laces, her eyes too, this ribbon, and I'm just thinking about this as I go. I was even thinking about whether I... Um, there's already a lot going on down here, so if I leave the shoe la laces white, then um, they're really gonna stand out. So I would like to balance this out and put the focus also somewhere up here. But I mean, her face is probably gonna be also a focal point, depending on how much I work on it. Now I'm kind of thinking if this, if these um, leaves were even necessary because I think this one could actually do without them. But um, I've been using this, no, not this one, the 0.5 mechanical pencil. And even though this is HB, because the lead is so thin, um, it's quite difficult to erase this so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to I mean this if I'm gonna be able to make a flat wash for the background because I've been 
erasing this part quite a bit so the paper might be um, a bit damaged. The only thing I can really do now is to try because with the laces and the tree branch up here and the cape and all of the tattoos going on I don't think this part here is really that necessary. Most of the time I notice stuff like this once everything is done because um, this is a different size than what I started with. The sketch. Was it this one? Oh no. So I show you this one. But I completely forgot that I actually um, redid this sketch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's dry up. Um, so yeah, I reworked this one. So this was the new sketch and this is Archer's Hot Press Paper. And I bought a, diff uh, a weird size. Um, it was on sale, so that's why I picked it up. And I haven't been really... <laughs> using it for a lot because it is so narrow and so long but I think for full body stuff like this this works actually quite well so um, yeah when I did this sketch so the original had the um, leaves going on but there was a lot more space and when I um, narrowed this down, she didn't have her tattoos. Even though I knew that I wanted to um, give her lots of tattoos, I didn't draw them out because I thought it was pointless. I would just do them uh, kind of freestyle. And uh, because I didn't draw in the tattoos, um, this part here with the leaves wasn't feeling as busy. But now that I did the tattoos, I think... Um, there, yeah, all of the stuff down here was a bit uh, unnecessary. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm actually even second guessing if this branch up here really was necessary. But no, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it. But yeah. And I'm gonna use my colored inks for this one. So I want this to be really bright and um, saturated and it's a lot easier to uh, do this with the colored inks. But I actually don't remember if I've used colored inks on this paper before. So probably should do a test run, but uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna um, use the masking fluid for the shoelaces. This is a mess. Um, wait, let me attach you to this thing. Oh, fuck. Come on. Professional. Okay. So let's get the washi tape off. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. <laughs> I feel like I always make the most unappealing um, of these peeling off the washi tape. Uh, oh, oh, this didn't sound good. Shots. Probably because I just 
keep collecting them in one hand. It just looks so unesthetic. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. First YouTuber ever. Okay. So, yeah, here she is. In all of her blurry glory. Why the fuck are you focusing on the brushes? It's pretty simple, pretty clean. I like it. Um, I might just include uh, the scan right here somewhere, just so you can see it without the um, glare from the pencil. Oh yeah, I think she turned out quite cute. <coughs> And now, I think what I'm gonna do is just quickly clean up my desk. And I think that's gonna be it for, for this video. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say a quick goodbye because I forgot to yesterday and I'm almost done with editing and uh, do you remember how I told you in the beginning of the video that I'm gonna use my microphone now to have better audio? Well, I put the microphone too far away from me and you can barely hear my voice so yeah, we're still gonna have to go with the audio from the um, camera mic uh, and next time I'm gonna first try out my setup before I look like a fucking dumbass again my husband showed me a new program how annoying would it be if I would do all of my future voiceovers with this voice guys I'm using watercolors today <laughs> And uh, yeah, because this video is so long, I decided to be really obnoxious and put two ads in. But you already know that because you had to skip them. This is pretty much it. I hope you're gonna have a great week. And uh, if you want to support this channel, then maybe you can check out Patreon. But if not, that's totally fine. You can also just hit like, leave a comment. And if you watched till this point, then you might as well subscribe. Okay, guys, this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Am I annoying you yet? <laughs> I'm probably gonna upload my next video next weekend-ish. See ya. Bye.